All right, Heather, thank you. Well, there has been plenty of frustration with the pace of testing for COVID-19, but some scientists and experts here in Western New York are working very hard and together to produce and seek federal approval for an automated system that could speed up that testing process. Channel 2's Ron Plants explains. We need obviously more testing capacity and we need it quickly. As if heeding the governor's words, the Rionix Corporation, which has an office here on Grand Island, is now pushing for federal approval for its robotic testing equipment. It's a sophisticated lab workstation called Encompass. Uh, you close the door and you hit a button uh, to actuate the whole system and the software takes over and it runs the complete assay without any attendance from the operator. And at the end, it also evaluates the results and reports the results. The system is made in sterile, clean rooms at the Rionix factory in Ithaca. They also produce a disposable cartridge system for samples, which is simply plugged in, kind of like circuit boards, which activate a system of miniature pumps and valves to switch on and off automatically and circulate fluids for testing. So all of those things that on the bench top could take uh, anywhere from five or six hours to a day or two, it's all going to be compressed to about four hours. If operated on a 24-hour basis, Montagna says the machine could analyze 144 samples per day, as compared to some standard runs of only 20 processed lab tests per day. Then there's the more portable size and lower cost of the unit, which resembles an oversized microwave oven. We're more focused on where you have a, you know, a small community hospital or even some of these drive-through situations where you want to get a sample and run it and get results in a few hours. In many ways, this project reflects a Western New York partnership. For example, Catholic Health Systems will be providing to Rionix respiratory samples, typically from flu patients, so that they can check the effectiveness of their testing equipment. That agreement is pending final approval, but they have lined up the Buffalo-based Zeptometrics Lab to make inactive safe samples of the coronavirus for their use and a UB professor to assist with statistical analysis, all to convince the FDA that it qualifies for an EUA, that's an expedited emergency use authorization, to allow marketing of the system. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.